This is Cybert signing in to Kane's Wrath on the map tournament Dust Bowl for a 1v1 in the north. Lane is the yellow GDI. This is Master Leaf. Meanwhile, in the south, playing as the Cyan Nod. This is Futurama. Futurama versus Master Leaf. A little bit of a rematch from the 2022 Winter Championship. Great tournament. If you have not seen those VODs, definitely something to check out. But this is by no way means a revenge match. This is just a random single game, but it is a little bit of a rematch, and I am excited to see how these guys play this one out. If the outcome is different than the ultimate conclusion of the Winter Championship, or is it just going to be a repeat of that same performance? Because, of course, this is R20E. This is, at the time of recording, the most recent version of the patch. This is the current hot, fresh version of the game of Kane's Wrath here in 2023. And, uh, you know, maybe there will be a new version soon, but I think R20E will hold for a little while. We've got tons of bug fixes and changes We've got the new ion cannon changes. We've got the fixed harvesters, which fixing the harvesters might be one of the most significant changes in all of our in all of uh, 1.02 plus. There's some other changes that are significant as well, but fixing harvester glitch bugs when they're refining Tiberium is such a massive change for just the game working as intended. I mean, fixing the Predator Tank bug, fixing the Steel Talons Harvesters, those are also equally massive changes. But I'm excited to see how this plays out in just a classic GDI versus Nod. Very vanilla kind of matchup here. Master Leaf versus Futurama. And look at this. So far, they're both going for macro-oriented openers. Futurama and Master Leaf, well, I guess we'll see. They haven't actually placed down their refineries yet, so maybe I should hold my tongue for just a moment. They've got their MCVs positioned over towards those natural expansions. All right, there's the there's the refinery from Futurama, and we have the telegraphing ref harvester from Master Leaf as well. Okay, okay. Things are feeling very normal. So for all of you who love yourself, Oh, man, the sneaky GDI rifle, but always manages to get into the nod base and start peppering down that power plant. But for those of you who love your standard-oriented play, who want to see just a good, normal game here on R20, this is probably the one to see. So it's going to be third refinery into the War Factory. And meanwhile, Master Leaf, he might actually be going fourth refinery after that. No, okay, it's going to be airfield. It's going to be command center, command post. And uh, no AP ammo, so he may actually be for getting AP ammo, and he does have an Orca Strike coming in as well. It is going to be at this main base. Futurama may have to pull his Harvesters off to avoid that damage. Meanwhile, in the middle of the map, a couple of Pit Bulls, a couple of Scorpion Tanks are just going to be rolling around the place, and as this Orca Strike comes in, it looks like Futurama will take a little bit of damage on that Harvester, not too much, but fortunately for Futurama, that telegraphs immediately what Master Leaf has been doing up there in the north. I don't think Master Leaf actually got scouted properly by Futurama, but that Orca Strike gives Futurama the intel that he needs. He doesn't know exactly the timing of all of the refineries, but he knows, okay, I went third refinery, and then I went war factory. I bet my opponent went third refinery, and then command center. And, I mean, in this case, it was command center and airfield before that fourth refinery came up for Master Leaf. Now, Master Leaf is going to have a lot of scorpion tanks. No bikes, though. Scorpion tanks and buggies is going to be the current composition, but it is going to be going up against pit bulls and Predator Tanks, and we already have a Tier 3 out here for Master Leaf. It's going to be Railguns and no AP ammo. So I guess it's not going to be Hammerheads or, you know, he's not planning to build any Watchtowers. Either this is a an accidental... That's not AP ammo. Uh, he's, he's either accidentally... 
I just glitched out my game a little bit there. He either accidentally forgot AP ammo, and uh, Tier 3 is up as well. But he does have that Vox Transport Scout, so Master Leaf may have forgotten AP ammo, but he has not forgotten to scout his opponent. He's been doing a good job of keeping an eye on Futurama. He's had those eyes in the sky, eyes on the ground in the south. And all these pit bulls, they better turn around because this is a lot of scorpion tanks here for Futurama. Orca Strike once again going to be coming in. It is going to be... Is it on the air tower? Yeah, okay, it is on the air tower here. As that ox transport get taken, gets taken down, air tower gets tagged. And Master League does see the timing of that expansion. His own MCV is only just now packing up. And actually, Master Leaf is going to decide to cross over to the east side of the map as well. He is continuing to go that way. All right, Scorpion tanks are posturing on the west. Both of the players might actually be kind of anticipating their opponent's move. But in this case, Futurama is anticipating incorrectly because the MCV has packed up and headed to the east side. Marv on the way. No Reclamator Hub, I don't think, but we do have Avatars out here. Pitbull's going to be poking, poking shots at this construction yard. We'll even force the laser fence around that con yard. I guess that may end up coming in useful because we have Railgun Mammoths. We have Railgun Preds on the way. A Marv as well, and he sold off that Reclamator Hub immediately. But Mind Drop on top of the Preds. Nice stop command there just in time. And that's a sensor pod on top of that Mammoth. So he has mobile stealth detection there on that Mammoth tank. But he does not have stealth detection over here where a couple of stealth tanks have rolled in with the help of these laser capacitor scorpions, laser capacitor buggies breaks down one of the refineries and Futurama is on a roll as he snipes one refinery and he needs to quickly deal with these mammoth tanks. Not all of his tanks are engaging in this fight. He's maybe worried about his MCV back on the other side of the map, but he needs to deal with these mammoth tanks if he wants to keep up the damage, if he wants to keep up the kills. One scorpion tank goes down, one stealth tank goes down as well, but two of the mammoths get eliminated, or one of the mammoths gets eliminated. The other one is about to get targeted down. Meanwhile, the MCV CV is under threat, double obelisk gear, double avatar, but Master Leaf is going to go for the snipe on the avatar husks. He's going to deny the recapture of those, but barely he doesn't manage to do it. One avatar husk does survive, and this one scorpion, or this one mammoth tank going up against all of these scorpions almost comes out ahead, and the mammoth will go down here as it looks like Master Leaf and Futurama will keep themselves safe for now. Behind this, Master Leaf has gotten two refineries on that third base, but the stealth tanks are sniping harvester after harvester in the north. A fresh harvester just drove over and was eliminated. Master Leaf can't have very many harvesters left. It looks like he's got at least four, and he does have the Marv, which is one big harvester, and it is going to be a Venom poking shots at this Orca in the north. Master Leaf is going to have to deal with that at some point. Futurama is going to have to dislodge Master Leaf from the right side of the map. And Futurama might just try and long distance mine from the west side of the map. Pitbull will spot this Harvester. Futurama not sending his Harvesters over to the left side. He's sort of letting some of them just auto harvest. Venom's coming in. Scorpion tank getting sniped. Venom gets the kill on that pit bull. Not something you see very every day is a Venom getting a snipe on a pit bull. And yeah, it's going to be long distance harvesting for Futurama. These guys coming up against each other time and time again. But in this moment, they've just they're just needing a a couple of seconds to breathe. Five avatars, but with vertigos behind it. Engineer gets instantly sniped. Futurama, you're supposed to keep that guy behind the avatars, not out in front. EMP catches the Marv. That's one EMP lands and one Harvester goes down. Those vertigos are sniping a Harvester, but the stealth tanks are going to be sniping another Harvester behind this. So this is a little bit of a cover attack, but at the same time, a lot of avatars could be lost in this exchange. One avatar goes down. These predators are not being stopped. Second avatar gets eliminated. Vertigo comes in. 
Predator goes down, but one Predator versus these Avatars. That's a trade you will take any day of the week. Marv gets stopped by the Mind Drop, but Futurama is in trouble. He needs to do something to stop Master League's army. He's done a good job eliminating the economy, and he might actually be able to get the Marv. The Marv goes down. Not enough support for the Marv. The last Avatar may also fall here on the front line as Master Leaf pushes on forward with a scrappy army of almost nothing. He pushes forward into the natural expansion of Futurama. Futurama, who is strapped for cash. Master Leaf, he's drawn a zero on the bank account as well. They're both in survival mode as pitfalls, mostly pitfalls, roll forward for Master Leaf looking for some kind of way to save this game as MCV goes down. Master Leaf loses his MCV, a couple of stealth tanks looking for those hero statuses, looking for those final kills. They haven't quite gotten it, but they're looking to snipe a couple of these Predator tanks. Oh, a Mammoth Tank rolls up to the fight. How did Master Leaf afford that? That may be left over from minutes ago as Futurama's base is shrinking more and more. His MCV may have been rebuilt at some point. He did get an MCV over there to the left side of the map. He does have Hope still alive. He does have two stealth tanks heading back. One engineer managed to sneak out for Master Leaf, and he still does have War Factories as well. No AP ammo as the first Hammerhead spawns in. Master Leaf deliberately avoided that upgrade earlier because he was going so tank heavy. He was going Mammoth and Predator heavy. Nice dodge by that Harvester. Saw his friend get run over, and he decided to dodge around the Mammoth tank. The MCV has been found out. Both of these players have such desperate armies, such separated forces as they are looking for any and every advantage. The MCV is going to go down as that Predator tank goes golden. He's got a star. He's a hero amongst the GDI forces. And this Hammerhead showing up. So few units left over for Master Leaf. So few units left over for Futurama. But a couple of engineers managed to sneak their way into Husks. This Husk will get sniped. The engineer as well and the rockets being made sh make made short work of by this hammerhead snipe after snipe after snipe as this this hammerhead just cuts down the nod infantry forces one after another two avatars may be enough we'll see if those oh the the ranks are starting to happen it's only infantry so there's not going to be much more of a rank up after this the stealth tanks, I think, were eliminated some time ago. No, they're still roaming around the map. At least one of them is looking for those kills or missing the critical Tibcor missiles upgrade. Mammoth comes forward looking to do that damage. Predator tank is going to be able to absorb a couple of shots here. Hammerhead shows up. Rockets are here, but they're going to get gunned down by that Hammerhead one by one. Futurama wishes he had Tib Core and Master Leaf wishes he had AP ammo. The Mammoth tank goes down. The militant squad's chasing these tanks. They get that that single or double that predator. And the Scorpion, the, the stealth tank shows up to try and save the day. And it looks like Master Leaf is going to be forced to retreat once again. That stealth tank hoping to go heroic. Hoping to rank up once again. Oh my gosh, this mammoth, this predator tank is just blasting away at these Nod forces, healing through all of the fire that is sent his way. Is he going to try and snipe the husks? Yeah, he's not sniping the husk. Both of these guys so low on cash. They've claimed about 100,000 credits each, but they both have less than 1,000 in their bank account. One husk claimed, second engineer on the way. Double Avatar might be enough to break this. I mean, Master Leaf, he's got the he's got the Harvesters. He's got the War Factory. He could have rebuilt his MCV, but he is so low on cash. He's in such a scrappy position. I don't think he dares take the time to build an MCV. So he hasn't been able to re-tech. He hasn't been able to build anything new. It's just one War Factory. No barracks to try and match the production. He even sold off his airfield. Radar jamming missile fires off somewhere on the map. He's, he managed to hold on to his operations center. Futurama doesn't have a war factory. 
Futurama cannot rebuild. What you see is what you get. Every building is so precious, and he's going to parade across the map with infinite infantry. The longer the game goes on, the worse it gets for Futurama because he cannot rebuild. If only he had a couple of more EMPs to be able to help lock this down. A couple of Foxholes going to be coming up here on the front line. Avatars, once they actually get in range, they'll do massive damage. Predator tank is here. That hero Predator tank looking for the kill, always looking for the angle to stop Futurama's army. AP ammo would be so critical right here, but the APCs are doing a good job of shredding these rockets anyway. Avatars are trying to decide which target to attack, and pretty much all of the rockets have gone down. Master Leaf has thinned the herd. Master Leaf has evened the playing field, and this hero Predator tank blast through avatar after avatar are you kidding me that hero predator deck is gonna get another kill and these apcs are here to help clean up the rest the avatars go down and no engineer will reach those avatars anytime soon master leaf has done it with a hero predator tank and an infinite line of infantry for him to kill the GG comes out and Futurama will take the L there so close. But in the end, he could only build infantry. He had two avatars, no way to repair them. And Master Leaf finds the win down on economy for the last almost half of that game masterly flatlined so long there but futurama just wasn't able to find the units a roller coaster of a game for sure here on tournament dust bowl thank you all very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and this is cyber signing out